I'm Karen, and today we're going to be talking about do I have lice, or is it my imagination, or is it something else? Sometimes people feel itchy, and then we check, or they have a family member check, and there's no sign of lice in the hair. So why would that be? Well, there are several reasons that your head could feel itchy. The first reason is dandruff. Dandruff can be flake, is flaky, and it can be from a um, your scalp may feel dry, you may start scratching it, and that's going to contribute to the itchiness. So dandruff is one reason why you may have it, uh, feel itchy and have no lice in your hair. Another is that the weather has changed, you're sensitive to changes in your environment, and something has changed that's triggering an itch in your hair. Or there could be a skin condition like eczema or some something that causes itchiness. There could be bug, uh, maybe you have some mosquito bites. Uh, there's also a possibility that you uh, change something in your uh, laundry regimen. Perhaps you have a new laundry detergent and you have a slight allergy to it and that's causing itchiness. Um, another possibility is that you have been using lice treatments. Perhaps you had lice in the hair, you used lice treatments, even the oil treatment that we give you, which is olive oil based and doesn't cause an allergy, may contribute to itchiness just because the hair can't breathe, the head can't breathe. So maybe for a couple of days um, after we treat you, you might still feel itchiness. And the final reason that you might feel itchiness is what's called phantom head lice syndrome. And that is that it's basically psychosomatic. And just think about when somebody mentions the word head lice, what does everybody do? You start reading it about it online, whether you have it or not, all of a sudden you feel itchy. That's very common. And um, it's just the way the human mind works. So just because you have head lice, uh, just because you have an itch does not mean that you have head lice. So if you start feeling itchy, what can you do? Well, we recommend that the first thing you do is ascertain whether or not you have lice. So you the best thing to do is to go outside with somebody, or if it's your child who's scratching, bring him or her outside in the bright sunlight if possible. If not, shine a, a bright light on the head and ideally put on a pair of magnifiers and check and see if you see anything in the hair. And what you would be looking for is translucent things that are stuck to the hair. And check and see if you see any signs, signs of, uh, any signs of head lice. If, you, if you're not sure, pull it out and put it against a white background. If it's a knit, which is an egg, um, it will look brown against the background. If it's just dandruff or some kind of uh, oily secretions called DEC plugs, it will blend right into the background. So just because you're itchy does not mean you have head lice. There are many factors, that other factors that can cause head lice. However, there is a possibility that you do have head lice, particularly if you're incessantly scratching and you have not changed any of the other factors in your environment or in your, in your regimen, then there's a, you know, a decent chance that there's head lice. If your child attends a school or has been on play dates with other kids, there's a possibility that he or she picked up a case or that you picked up a case from your child. So when in doubt, Try to check it out yourself. If not, call Lice Doctors. We can be reached at 800-224-2537, morning, noon, or night. And we will come and tell you whether or not there really are lice in your hair. Thanks very much. This is Karen from Lice Doctors. Bye-bye.